In an upstate New York art park, we excavated a six foot by 20 foot plot to the bedrock using the extracted soil for an interactive electronic gallery installation. There are three environment monitoring sensors, a light sensor, a temperature sensor, and a soil moisture sensor. The installation must be watered to keep the vital signs intact. Each sensor produces a distinct tone. For example, the light sensor produces a deep tone. The moisture sensor produces a mid-range tone. All sensor data must be within a particular vital range to produce a harmony. For example, if the soil is not watered properly, the tones will change and a less than desirable tone will be produced. We also put trigger buttons under stepping stones that when stepped on would randomly shuffle the resulting audio. In order for the sensors to work, the signal must be converted from an analog signal or a physical signal to a digital signal that the computer can recognize and read. We used a T-box analog to digital converter to make this transition. Once the sensor data has been converted to a digital signal, it can be used in conjunction with programs in the computer. We used the program MaxMSP to process the digital data that the computer was receiving into audio and MIDI signals. The MIDI information was sent to a Paya Fatman analog synthesizer. The two audio signals, one from the synthesizer and one from the computer, were mixed and amplified. The resulting audio was then sent to three separate speakers. Participants were encouraged to walk on the stepping stones in the installation to produce various random mixes of audio generated by temperature, light, and moisture sensory data. The chirping sounds are produced by the fat man and are a reaction to the outside environment. With this as a linking point, the environment of the gallery and that of the art park tend to merge. We dug a long trench on the side of the hill to expose or excavate the bedrock that lay underneath. Soil was shoveled and removed by hand. <laughs> the soil rested and settled for one month prior to gallery installation.
After the installation, the soil will be returned to the excavated area in a new, changed, and revitalized state. Here we are juxtaposing two separate concepts, labor and environment or ecologies. There are ecologies of growth, as in the wheat growing, and social ecologies, where people interact with the installation, both the ecological system and the electronic computer system. This triangulation between the social, or human, the ecological, and the electronic demonstrates via microsystem, although very simply, the relations that we have with the everyday. You might have to jump on it. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes they will. It depends on how sensitive. With the relationship to labor, we are interested in the energy produced and consumed by the various elements. To keep the microsystem we produced as tight as possible, most of the dirt excavation, as well as the gallery placement, was done by hand. Human labor used energy to move the soil. The existing energy of the soil and wheat seed, combined with water and light, grew the wheat grass. The computer was plugged into the existing electrical grid, while the energy from the sensors triggered events. I said the hand out of the hip makes a lot better. 